What's going on, everybody? My name is Genius, bringing you guys part 20 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, follow me on Twitch as I stream four plus days every single week. Link will be in the description below. So, guys, in the last episode, we finished up our eighth and final dungeon and obtained the last instrument, which was the Thunder Drum. And in this episode, we're actually going to be moving on, doing some side questing, and finishing up everything as we have only this episode and next episode left and we will be finished up this playthrough so first of all we're gonna head to the yukuku prairie back to mob bay village and you guys know where we're heading to the claw mini game once again we got one more figurine that we got to pick up for this playthrough so we're gonna go do that real quick and then we're gonna go finish up collecting the rest of the secret seashells which is one more and finish up our heart containers too so let's get on it let's go we just have this like one little special i wouldn't say mini game little side mission you guys will understand once i get there but we're gonna head over to this claw mini game grabbing our last figurine which is the pokey figurine look at that boy the big green guy right there that's the pokey figurine so we're gonna go grab him he looks a little tall so we're gonna try to get him real quick get a little snatching on him but let's get it let's get it i'm sick of this claw mini game we played it too much this whole playthrough and i think i missed already hopefully we can snatch on his head real quick come on get his head Oh, fell right then. Oh, my God. What a hunk of junk. What a hunk of junk. <laughs> Guys, I left the claw minigame and walked back in. I had to reset it. I had the bomb in the bottom right corner. Like, everything was all over the place. The pokey was on the sliding platform. It just wasn't a good scene. So, we're going to go for it once again here. Hopefully, grab his head. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Grab the pokey. Come on, dude. He's in there. He's in there. He's in there. Stay on there, pokey. Pokey. Pokey, stay there! Yes! <laughs> we got him! Oh my god, I thought he was... Oh my god, I thought he dropped it off the thing. I thought he was gonna fall out too. Challenge again. No, we are done with you, sir. We are finally done with this claw minigame. I believe we're done with this claw minigame. This should be the last figurine right here. But we're gonna get moving on. Gonna go place him in his little pedestal. And then we're gonna go move on to the mission to collect the seashells and the other pieces of heart. Let's go. Mabe Village, I'm like done with you. Get out my face. I cannot wait to finish up this game and see what happens at the end. Because we gotta go wake the windfish. That is what is gonna be happening in the next episode. So you guys better stick around and check that out. But we're gonna head over here and place this pokey on this pedestal right over here. Does this stand for something? It says pokey. Yes, sir. Here you go. Place the pokey figurine. There you go. Look how dandy that looks. Just a beautiful little figurine for them. But we're actually gonna pull out our ocarina once again and play Mambo's Mambo. And actually get moving on to Dompey's Shack. Like guys, this is the place that we haven't visited all the game. And this is where we're gonna collect the last seashell and the last heart pieces. To complete our heart well our heart count up to 20 we're gonna walk over to him and say yo what's up dompe what's up man well hey there got your other stuff squared away for right now i got something interesting to show you follow me into the shack all right you got it dude look at this little shack it's just like rocks and mud <laughs> talk to him again hey hey there you are i want to show you something interesting you've gone poking into some of the ruins on the island i could tell I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slabs back there and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon, you gotta adventure through it. I'm no designer, though. And I'm no adventurer either. That's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me and there's treasure in for it. Is that a chamber stone you got there? I can make special chambers out of those. Bring them to me when you find them. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down, tell me about it. All right, you got it. So what we have to do here is actually there's so much to do. We have to arrange dungeons by ourselves and then complete them. And every time we complete like a certain level, then we will actually get a reward. So you got a new chamber, slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. So this will actually take us a ton of time. We're going to arrange a dungeon, so, but I'm not going to be showing all this because this could take us like two hours to complete. So I'm just going to be dialing it down. I'll show you the first dungeon and all that, but, and then we're going to be dialing it down. Okay, so we have to arrange dungeons right here. So it says take chambers from the menu on the right with A, then slap them onto the tiles to the left with A. Okay, a lot of times you'll you'll want a chamber with a particular set of exits. So that's how I divided them up. You can flip through the list with the LNR. Okay, so we gotta build a dungeon right here to lead to that thing right there and all that. So we're gonna start off with something. 
or we're gonna start off with this one right here now we can place any of these in here and just do them so it's pretty simple finally guys i figured out how to build the dungeons we got our first dungeon we're gonna hop into it i'm gonna show you guys it and then we're gonna progress along and then i'll show you guys the dungeons that i beat for the rewards and all that because there are tons of dungeons that we got to beat the goal on adventure in this dungeon is to get to the end and beat the nightmare try not to run out of hearts before you get there you got it you got it let's go let's head in here so these are just like random dungeons made off of every other dungeon so we got to destroy these bats and all that and this is probably the most tedious part of this game because the rewards aren't even that good so it's kind of like annoying <laughs> like it's like because i'm 100 in the game we got to do this but we're gonna grab this oh we can't even grab it oh yeah we can get back here boy but well, we're gonna grab it they kind of like make everything for us can we make it through this thing get in there yes so we make it in here we're gonna actually pull out our uh little what's it called our magic powder light the lamps and start whapping on these fools get out my face what you want and down comes a chest which should have the nightmare key in it because there's only one chest in here and the last chest will obtain the key so there we go let's grab that now we can actually head and finish off this dungeon <laughs> like these dungeons are so small like at, well for the beginning dungeons they're small and then they get bigger and bigger that's why it starts to take longer and longer which is annoying like there's gonna be like full length dungeons that it gotta be like five of them in a row in order to get the rewards that's why i'm not gonna show everything to you guys because it would just be annoying and tedious but we're gonna make our way through here and start finishing up this dungeon we don't even have to do anything here we can just keep moving along here and making our way this way but we gotta beat all these tiles you guys know the deal we're just gonna stand in the corner once again with our shield to block everything what you want <laughs> yeah so there are four different levels and each level has like a b c d of dungeons so we got to beat i think like three of them in order to beat the first level to get a reward and then like you know like four in the next one so it just gets to be too long it really does but we're just gonna make our way through here and just go inside this little nightmare key door and finish up this dungeon look at this guy was this our first boss was this our first boss oh my god that's crazy we're gonna have rock feather out in order to do some work over here hop around all that come on show me your little red tail Pop out the red tail. There it is. And it only takes two hits now to kill him. Oh my god. That is hilarious. That is too funny, everybody. Wow. <laughs> that just shows how much stronger we are. Dungeon arranging 101 cleared. There we go. What a show. There was times I swear you had one foot in the grave. A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. Let's go. We got a nice little chamber slot so we can do the next chamber. But guys... I'm just gonna skip ahead right here until we do the dungeons with the big rewards. After defeating all of the level one dungeons, except for the last one, this is the one that we are gonna be showing you guys because we get the rewards after this, but I built this heart-shaped dungeon. This is the way that we had to make it, but once we beat it, we will get some rewards for defeating the level one dungeons and all that. So we're just gonna make our way in here. It's kind of straightforward. Like, you kind of know what's going on considering you already beat it and everything, or well, you made it and everything. That's pretty cool. We're gonna take out these bats real quick. This done, well, this door is gonna open right here. It's just a bunch of floors from all the different dungeons that you have, and then you can make a bigger dungeon out of it but yeah this one's starting the dungeons are starting to get bigger like the first three that i did off screen they were like real short and everything they weren't too bad but this one's starting to get bigger and bigger but look at this this is the one that we made it's a nice heart shape thing over here but we're gonna make our way towards this way right yeah we're gonna come clean up this area and then make our way back to the right so we're gonna go in here that thing's gonna lock we're just gonna whoop on all these bitty bats what you want bitty bat get out my face dog what you want open up this door right here Making us move along here. We got all these lasers coming at me, but all I want is the chest. This is all I want is just a small key. Just chilling in this chest. The the way to arrange the uh, the dungeons, they're pretty straightforward. Like they're very confusing at first. Like, dude, what am I supposed to do? But once you like make one or two, you'll be fine. Like you just start chilling with them. And we're gonna make our way up here. Start changing all these things to diamonds because I want diamonds. Yay! Yeah, give me that. Take that. Give me that nice little chest. What we got in it. All the chests are like, you don't design what's in the chest. If you have a door, they're going to like calculate to have a door or a small key in there. So see how we have three small keys? We're probably going to have three small, well, key doors to unlock. But the nightmare key is always located in the last uh, chest of the of the whole dungeon. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Get out of my face, Red Shoe. Oh, what? Yo, come on. Shoot at me again so I can get you out of my way. Bink. See you later, punk. Well, we got these little chest pieces. We're just gonna throw them like so, yee baby. Which way does this one go? Let's go this way. Yeah, it does. Let me just stand here. Yee. Get that one down, and we're gonna get ourselves another little chest. Gonna spawn over here to the right, but let's get it, guys. This is the second to last episode. Bro, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped to finish off this playthrough. I'm ready for the end. 
Well, I'm not saying like I'm ready for this game to be over, but I just want to see like how the final f boss fight goes down and all that in the final area. Whew. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. But now we can actually start making our way back to the beginning area. Because we're done on this left side. We just got to finish up this right side now, which is pretty simple. We're just going to make our way through here. Yeet on over here. But guys, dude, we're going to be finishing up the last seashell here. We need one more seashell and then we need two more heart containers. Well, two pieces of heart. And then a full heart container. That's what we will get. But we're going to start whapping on these fools. Get out of my face. Open up this door for me. We got a small key to unlock it. Let's go inside. Then we got all this little lamps. We're just going to have to light. But luckily, we got the magic rod now that we got in the last episode. Yeet. Yeet. Lighting that up. Yeah, yo, knock it off. And we got this little room down here. And what's down here? We got this little stuff going on here. What you fools want? Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Pop up, buddy. Yeet. Get out of my face. We're gonna unlock this door. How's this dungeon looking? This will just unlock our path to the front room right there. So we just need to beat that in order to continue on. But let's go, let's go. I'm gonna keep the match right out. Oh, get out of my face. Oh, what we got here? Let's check it on the mat. So where does this lead? I don't even think we need this staircase. We're just gonna keep going on through here. <laughs> yeah, some things will end up a little wonky with everything. We're gonna make our way over here, hopping this way. Coming over here, we already have the Nightmare Key, so we're chilling now. We're just going to make our way into the bosser. And we actually get to pick our boss fight each time, which is pretty nice. And I picked this little beetle from the color dungeon because he's pretty straightforward and easy. We just got to hop up and whack on him. Watch how quick we're going to whoop on him. What you want, fool? Get out of here. What you want? What you want, fool? What you want? Get out of my face. <laughs> Step back. Take your time. No, I don't want to take my time. Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, so all these bosses that we've been versing are so easy. Like, as you guys saw in the first dungeon that we did, we versed the uh, first boss that we ever faced, and we just whooped on him in two shots. But there we go. We finish up the first level of dungeons. So let's see what Dompey's got for us. What a show. There were times I swear you had one foot in the grave. A throw like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. Boom, we get ourselves the final secret seashell. And we also get... Let's see, let's see. Boom, another piece of heart. Let's get it, baby. We're grinding out here we're grinding up here but that is all the secret seashell so we are actually gonna have to he head to this uh seashell mansion later in this video but let's keep murking down on this dompe's dungeon and get going Woo! guys we finished up i think it was four or five more dungeons in order to get to the end of level two right here so we're gonna be starting this off and getting the reward for the level two for beating everything so i made this dungeon we're just gonna go in here and start getting whapping on it this one shouldn't be too hard but we got these little bugs right off the bat what you want fools what you bugs want what do we use for these guys do we use boomerangs or arrows i think we use these arrows but what you want no we used the hook shot what you fools want go ahead open up open up what you fools want stun him get ripping on him what you want fool we should be able to kill these guys rather quickly. We're gonna stun this guy. Get out of my face. What you want? Keep whapping on him. I think like one more stun each. We'll just take these fools out. Who wants it? He's done. He's done for. Let me over there. Get out of here. He didn't die? What? That's pretty crazy. You want it again? Who wants it? Oh, that guy took a run at me. What you want? Get out of my face. But dude, guys, these dungeons are so tedious. Oh my god. Like You guys have no idea how tedious these are. I'm doing like six dungeons per level. Like, it's just like so much. But luckily, I'm condensing it down for you guys. So you guys can enjoy the content and all that. Have some fun. And we can whoop on this little spider bug. And say, get out my face. Grabbing ourselves. Does he drop a chest or anything? I know this door will open. I don't know if he drops a small key or anything. I forget. I forget. I know I built the dungeon and placed the items. <laughs> like the chest and stuff. But guess not. But this room definitely has a... Uh, a chest in it that we just got to defeat all the enemies before. Do we have to defeat all the enemies? Or I think we just got to push uh, those uh, stones together. Yo, what you want? He's slamming on me. Get out of my face. Yeah, we just got to push these stones together real quick. And out will come a small key, I believe. Or a chest containing a small key. It's either a small key or this chest has a small key. <laughs> oh, my lord. But yeah, so far, what do we get so far? We got a piece of heart and a seashell. So we're going to get another piece of heart here, which will be awesome after we defeat this. And then we're going to get a full heart container later on, but we got to defeat level three, which are just bigger dungeons and all that, which is just quite annoying. They really are. But we're going to pull out our magic rod right here and start melting all this. But there are like bigger dungeons to beat. And if you defeat them all, I believe it gives you like only rupees. And it's just like, why? Why even give me that? If I'm going to defeat them all. Like this is, it just takes so long. <laughs> it really does. But we're going to make our way this way. Grab ourselves these hearts. Dude, the magic rod's sick. Like what you fools want? Get out of here. You guys going to pop up here? We got a small key in order to get to the next room. So we're just going to open up this door real quick. Move on over here. And then we got this Cyclops real quick. Watch how quick we can destroy this guy if he doesn't grab us or anything. He'll probably get a quick grab on us. Or he's going to throw bombs at us. And just, like I said, it's just game over after that. Like, oh my god. We're just like, win, win. Win, win. Night, night. You're done. 
And he's gonna drop us a nice little small key and a fairy for us, which is just awesome. So the thing about these dungeons, these dungeons are that you cannot really skip any rooms because if you don't get all the chests, the nightmare key always is located in the last chest that you grab. So you have to get every chest in order to go through it. So you can't just be like blazing through everything real quick. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. But we can make our way into this water bug room. We just need the nightmare key. So let's check out our map. We can actually swim underwater here. We're gonna dive down here. So I'm making a way to the next secret area in order to get the nightmare key for this dungeon. Let's go swim. Get out of your bloopers. What you want, fool? Yeah, I, this these bloopers right here just reminded me of the fishing mini game. That one was so much fun catching the bloopers and the cheap cheeps and that giant fish. Man, dude, I love it so much. I just had a good time doing it. But we're gonna rip on you fools right here. Make our way this way. And oh no, we got this little skeleton boss guy. If you guys remember him? We gotta pull out our bombs. We burst him like six times in that one dungeon. God, swing at me. Drop this bomb here. Do a little dance. What? 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 You're done. You're done. Get out of here. I think believe he takes three hits. Unless he takes out less now, considering we might be a little stronger. But I think he'll still take three bombs hit. Bomb hits. So go ahead, swing at me one more time. What you want? And that should be night night. See you later, punk. Boom! Look at him. <laughs> He's so easy. You just charge up like this, knock him down, and then you just drop a bomb. It's pretty simple. We can actually make our way back here. Grabbing ourselves the last chest, which contains the nightmare key. Now we can go unlock the boss door and finish that up. But I think it's cool how you can, like, pick your, uh, your boss and everything. So you guys will see who I picked. I picked a pretty cool one. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Jeans picked some cool boss fights. <laughs> but the thing about it is, is, I believe if you have the amiibo, I'm not too positive on this, but... Let me know if I'm wrong, guys. But if you have the amiibo, you can save your dungeons. And then, like, say you want to give the amiibo to your friend. Then they can play that dungeon just by scanning the amiibo. Which is pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool touch. But we actually haven't showed off any of the amiibo features in this game. Because, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of cheating. Like, if you scan the amiibo, you can actually, um... You can actually, like, get rewards. You would have to fight, like, a mini boss. But you get mean rewards, like a bunch of rupees and everything. But we're gonna use this hook shot here. Unlocking the nightmare key. And we're gonna head up to the boss fight. You guys already know who it is. We picked the bird. We picked the bird from the Eagle Tower. Let's go. We're gonna whip, rip on him real quick. He doesn't want the sauce. We're gonna charge up our little spin attack real quick. Come here. Come here, boy. Oh, he's gonna do his little thing so we can't even hit him. What a punk shooting all these feathers at me. Go ahead, charging up this spin attack. Come down here, boy. I want you. Come here. Why are you doing this again? I just wanna hit you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. What you want? Come down here. I gotta charge spin attack up here. What you want? What, what you want, fool? Grinding him up. I'm gonna charge another spin attack up. Get out of here. Oh, he's like one hit. He has like one hit. Can we actually pull out our bow and like maybe jump and snipe him? <gasps> nope. Oh, what you want? Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> That's how you do it. Birds coming after you. <laughs> We're just swinging in the air, taking them all out. But there we go. We completed level two. We're going to get our reward. Now we just need one more level to complete for Don Pace Dungeons. What a show. There were times I swear you had a foot in the grave. You said that last time, man. There we go, guys. We got the piece of heart, which is just awesome. I'm happy. I'm happy. But that should complete another heart container, which will be nice. So we're at 19. We need one more heart. But we look at all this stuff, guys. We defeated all these dungeons right here. There's eight of them. Now we got to do level three. This is the last thing we got to do in order to get the last reward for us. So let's get it. I'll see you guys at the last dungeon. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed level one, which consists of four dungeons. Level two, which consists of four harder dungeons. Now we're on level three, the fourth dungeon, and all these took me a while. But we're going to hop in this and get our final reward for doing all of Dompe's dungeons. Oh my god, guys. It took me so long to actually get here. Probably took me about, like, three hours. Not going to lie here. Hey! What's these dudes' problems? They already hit me. We're gonna bring out our bow. This is actually a five-minute dungeon, I believe. We are on a timer, as you can see. Well, it's behind my, uh, it's behind my face cam right now, which is kind of annoying. But we have, we are on a five-minute timer. We have, we have four minutes and 45 seconds left. Wow, I can't believe it's behind my webcam. God dang it, man, but we're gonna complete this in five minutes. It's the only way. We got a rupee, so... We have to collect all these things real quick. We're just going to keep moving along here. Doing a couple sprints. Get over there, Link. Let's go. Let's go. But we are looking to get our final reward here. Are you kidding me? Did I really do this? <gasps> Make it. Yes, there we go. Let me check the map real quick. We are checking the map. How do we get up there? What is this? Oh, we can actually bomb this wall real quick. That's what we're going to do. Wow, I made this dungeon. Didn't even realize what thing I put in here. But that's kind of funny. We're going to hop up in here. We got to get every single chest that we got in order to get the Nightmare Key. So we're just going to keep grinding here. The boss fight I picked is pretty easy. It kind of like, well, it's kind of like quick. 
well i needed to in order to be under five minutes we're just gonna keep grinding here keep hopping get over that okay we'll take a hit no big deal no big deal what are we going to do here we, we gotta destroy this fool right here let's pull out our um pull out our bow go ahead pop up buddy what you want go ahead pop up again i want him dead get out of here okay now that he's dead i can actually hop over here and push this thing right off the little pedestal right here yo knock it off don't shoot a laser beam at me we got four minutes left we only been grinding for a minute but we're cooking right now i think we're almost done here i think we just got a couple more things to do we're gonna do a quick sprint yeah oh i never got crushed by one of those things that is hilarious <laughs> yo he whooped on me that thing just whooped on me squashed me <laughs> oh my god i can't wait to be done these dungeons this took me a while man i'm sick of them i really am i'm just sick of these dungeons right here uh, let's get these fools real quick. Wrap them up real quick. We got three minutes and 30 seconds left. Just about. Just gonna keep moving on. How many chests do we need? We need two more chests right up here. Here's the first one. Just gotta hop over here. Hit this button. We're gonna hop back. It's gonna spawn right there. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. I am so hyped for the next episode for this. We're gonna be finishing up this game because we got all the seashells right now. And we're about to get our last part container, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. But we got this shy guy. We just have to make our way to him. We gotta turn around actually. We gotta face his back. Do a spin attack. Whoop on him real quick and get the last key, which will have the nightmare key in it. So we can actually go face off the boss and do we crush this dungeon. We completely crushed it. We have three minutes and 20 seconds left. It's just easy. Because the timer stops whenever the frames stop and all that. So it's nice. So like, oh what the heck? Get over me. <laughs> so if you have like the um like when I opened the chest, it stopped. Because we were like reading something and all that. See how like it stops right now. What's that say? It says, hey, it's locked. You can open the door with the night. We didn't get the nightmare key? Are you kidding me? We forgot a chest all the way back at the beginning? Oh my god. We forgot a chest back at the beginning. No! Okay, we're gonna have to make a run for this. Why? I'm not paying attention. Whenever I talk to, like, like you guys and everything, like, I don't even pay attention. Like, what do we get? A 20 rupee from that thing? Not even a nightmare key? You guys are probably like, jeans, what are you doing, bro? Like, come on, buddy. But we have... Three minutes left. I think we can make it there and back and beat the boss in that time. Let's go. Come on, run, Link. Run. Run, buddy. Get up that ladder. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I can't believe I left the chest all the way back at that beginning. I cannot believe it. But we're going to push this down. Let this fool come after me. What you fools want? I'm dipping out. I'm running. Let's go. Let's go. Pegasus boot. Run. Let's go. Through there. Is this still room we got to be in here? Yes, this room right here. And we gotta put all these little tiles together. I think we did this in the last dungeon, right? But we struggled with it. But we on our A game right now. We on our A game. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. That's how it's done. Let's go. We got two minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. Hopefully, we can make it back. We're gonna grab the nightmare key right now and get grooving back there. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Let's go. Let's go. On a timer. We gotta be quick. Letting McQueen out here. Let's go run this way. Hop that. Dodge all that. Let's go get over here. The door's open now. Get off of me. I don't feel like dealing with you guys right now. Come on, come on, come on. This way. But luckily, we don't have to open up any doors like defeat any of the enemies anymore. But we hopefully don't get squashed by this fool. Run, run, run. There we go. Stupid little, like, fake thwomps. <laughs> get up here. Get up there. There we go. Come on, come on. We got this, yo. I'm feeling it. I feel like we got it. Feeling good. Feeling good. Yeet, baby. Eat that again. Let's go. Come on. Run this way. We don't have to defeat these guys anymore. The door's already open, which is nice, but they keep pestering us right here. We can actually run this way. Get out of here. Don't get hit by those fools. Off me. Get off of me. And we can actually make our way into the... Oh my god, we got knocked down. We almost got knocked down, but we can make our way into the boss dungeon door. And I pick the angler fish to go up against. I think we could swamp on him real quick. We have a minute and 40 seconds left in order to do this. We just gotta give him a couple whaps. Look at him. He's gonna yell. Oh. <laughs> it sounds like he burps. Charge that up. Charge up my spin attack. What you fools want? Get out of here. Come on. Finish them off. Let's go. Yo, we got this in a bag. Yo, what you want, fool? Come on. How many more hits? One more spin attack? There it is. Let's get it, baby. That's how it's done. We did it. Finally, we completed Dompe's Dungeons. Oh, my God. I am so hyped right now. Whew. Finally, guys. Took me so long. I've just been grinding this all day. What a show. There were times I swear you had one foot in the grave. Throw like that. Serve something from my collection in exchange. Let's go. We got this little stone right here. And what else is he going to give us after this? Boom, baby. A full heart container. And look at the top left corner. We are filled up to the max. Every single heart 
We have everything. Everything. We got more stuff to do, more down based dungeons if we would like to, but that's more of just like a post game thing if you want to have fun because there's no other rewards now. It's great to watch you work, but I've been wondering if you could be better. Nah, I don't feel like dealing with them right now. We ain't even going. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. What are you here for? I'm here to quit and I'm here to get out of here. Finally, look at that. Look at our hearts. 20 hearts. We are full on hearts. We have every last seashell. Let me see if we have all the seashells real quick. I'll check right in the map once this loads. It's actually taking a little bit to load. Usually it doesn't take this long. <laughs> I guess it's because we were in there for so long. Like, oh my lord. That's to load the whole world up again. But look at this. All 50 seashells. So what are we going to do now? We're going to play Mambo's Mambo and go to the seashell mansion. Get our final reward for collecting all of them. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. As you can see on our map, the only spot that we didn't see is the egg. And that's where the windfish lies. Woo. We're going to be finishing that up. Let's get it. Let's get it. We can make our way to the seashell mansion. Whap on those fools just real quick. Head inside here. And get our last reward for this mansion. Woo! All the seashells, all the hard spirit. Done, baby! We're done. All the figurines, too. We did all that today. We did all that. Woo! What an episode. What an episode. You have discovered every secret. The proof is in the seashells you hold. I acknowledge the per perseverance it took. May fortune bless you wherever you roam. My task here is finished. Let's see what it gives us. The reward, like I said, when we got the other reward. This one isn't even as close as better as the Kahol one sword. It is just another chamber stone. You just use these in Dompe's dungeon, which we're basically done with. <laughs> Woo! Let me finish these guys off. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new, you're subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to go wake the windfish and finish up with this playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.